we had the sad incidents of uh, just a few uh, weeks ago, a young 16-year-old Tibetan boy self-immolated himself and he died saying, long live the Dalai Lama. China has said, see this shows that the Dalai Lama and his uh, followers are promoting self-immolation. They don't care about the lives of Tibetan Buddhists. A monk also immolated himself in Tibet. How do you, there has been criticism that you have not outrightly condemned self-immolation. What would you say about this? I think uh, the first incident you see, that happened in Tibet, I think which year, I can't remember, mm -hmm. uh, one BBC reporter I met, uh, he asked you this question. Mm -hmm. Then I expressed, yes, I feel very sad. Uh, and then I also, you see, expressed how much effect such sort of drastic sort of action. I express. They, you, you know, they uh, criticize. That also is difficult. Mm -hmm. Then the remaining family member, if they uh, heard Dalai Lama something sort of negative attitude, you see, they are one of their sort of relative who sacrificed their own life. I think they feel tremendous sort of sadness. So I don't want that. And then naturally, I can also uh, encourage such action like that so then the best thing is keep quiet then let the chinese whatever they want to say and let them say <laughs> no but that, problem do you feel uh, your holiness that may send out the wrong message that maybe some young people may think that if you keep silent then that is a, a tacit approval or that uh, do you think stronger words may help from your side uh, and also this is uh, very, very sensitive political issue. Now, old monk, already retired, so I feel better remain low-key <laughs> silence. Mm -hmm.